Hello, my name is Anshuman Gaur, and I'm a PM on Viva Connections team. Have you ever wondered how quickly you can set up and launch Viva Connections? So today, we're going to talk about set up and launch of Viva Connections in under five minutes. A quick recap of Microsoft Viva. It's an employee experience platform within Microsoft 365. And today's focus is going to be on Viva Connections setup, which is the home for Viva Suite. So let's get started. As an IT admin, I can log into Teams and I can find the Viva Connections app. When I open the app for the first time, I can already see the default content that's set up for me. And I do not have to start with setting up the home site first. I can rather get directly in here and start editing the content. I can go here on the menu and click on Manage Access and this allows me to add other people who will work with me in setting up the content here. Let's say I want to add Megan as a co-owner of this experience. And now Megan also has the edit access to this experience. Now I'm logged in as Megan, the content author. I can edit the banner to provide a unique branding to this experience. Let's do that. Click on edit change image, select the banner. I can see my recent images or I can simply upload. Once the image is uploaded, then I can reposition it. And save. Now I have a unique branding banner for this experience for my employees. Next, let's set up the dashboard. Dashboard offers employees with a central place for their daily tasks actions and workflows. I'll click on edit. When I do this for the first time, it gives me the option to choose a starter set of cards. Let's pick the information workers and continue. Here I can add cards to create a rich dashboard for my employees. I can click on add a card and this is where I can find any first party Microsoft or Viva cards, any custom developed cards or even the third party cards from the app store right within this toolbox. Let's say that I want to set up an approval card, which is the first party card. I can click this card and that's pretty much it. Next one, let's add a web link card for my employees to access the achievers or MVPs. I can click on the edit, provide the URL. It auto populates the data from the website where the URL is pointing to but I can always edit this information. Select an image. And let's also select an icon that represents my MVPs. Let's say I want to add one more card and that's my Teams app. I can directly add a Teams app here I can select the size of the card, select the app that I want to set up. It auto populates all the information and in few simple steps, I can set up the dashboard. At this point, I'm ready to publish my dashboard. I can quickly preview this dashboard before I publish and I can see this both in my desktop view as well as my mobile view. I'm happy with my preview. I can close that. And now I'm ready to publish my dashboard. Now my dashboard is ready. And lastly, I'm ready to set up my resources. To do that, I can click on get started. And here I can add those additional resources. Let's say I want to set up my HR portal. Next, I can add my benefits portal. Now I have my resources added. I can click save. And my resources get populated here right away. At this point, I have my banner set up for unique branding. I have my dashboard set up. And then I also have resources for navigation and wayfinding. 
I am now ready to customize my app name and icon in Teams Admin Center. And after that, I am ready to launch the app. To do that, I will go to Teams Admin Center as the Teams Admin. I can go to Manage Apps, can search the Viva Connections app here. Click on this pencil icon. Let's say I want to call it Controso Universe. I can also change the icons. And I can apply. The app is customized, the name is changed, and I'm ready to send the launch communication. Before I launch, I can also pre-pin this app for all my users in the company. To do that, I can go to Setup Policies, create a new policy. I can already see my customized app here, and we recommend that it's pinned at the top of the Teams navigation bar. I can move it here and save. And now my users can easily discover Viva connections on both Teams desktop and mobile. And that's how easy it is to set up Viva connections. You can get up and running very quickly and right away, it helps you in discovering all the Viva apps that you currently have. And over a period of time, you can evolve it to have even more scenarios addressed through the adaptive cards on the dashboard. Mm -hmm.